What's happening, everybody? This is Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes. In this video, we're gonna look at three ways to center content. We'll start with just centering type at the top, then we'll focus on centering a div in the middle, and then we'll focus on centering content both horizontally in flex and horizontally and vertically in flex as well. So with that, let's get started. I've got the Bootstrap 5 template set up right here. When I want to start centering just text, let's we have hello world that's in the template. If I want to center this type, I can simply say h1 class text center. And this will center any text that's inside those h1s. Now if I want to have it be responsive, whereby I want the centering text to be, let's say on the mobile side, but not on the tablet or desktop side, I can simply say text SM start. What that's going to do is when it hits the small size or greater, start is now left. So if I refresh the page, it'll go that way until I resize my browser to the mobile size and a low world goes back to the center. Our next centering is centering content in terms of divs on the page. For this one, I made an example in my custom CSS where I made a small box at a max width of 400 pixels. And for fun, I've also created a dark box, which has a background color of dark gray and color white. We put this in our design. So after the H1, what I'm going to do is I'll say div class equals small box. And then I'll also say dark box. So what it'll look like is I'll say small box slash dark box. If I save this, we have this box on the left hand side of the page. And just for display purposes, I'm going to take out this text SM smart as well, since we only need it for this project. I'm only going to keep the centering content for display purposes. There we go. Hello world. What I want to do is I want to move the whole entire box to the middle of the page. Now the text center won't let me do that because it only affects the content inside of a div. I want to move the whole div unto itself. So I'm going to do is I'm going to build a container and I'm going to say div class container. I'm going to move this box inside the containers. I want it to kind of sit in the middle of my container in my design. From here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say MX auto. So I'll say MX and auto. This is going to add auto margins to the X axis or the left and right. Now start and end. In this case, when I hit save, drop it in. Now the box is in the middle of the page. And of course, if we want to add the type to be centered, we can re put in text center. And now everything is turning out to be centered in this content. The next way of centering content is using flex inside of bootstrap five. We just get a little space for contextual readability here. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to say div class equals deflex. And then I'll say justify content center. What this is going to do is it's going to center my content in each of the children. So if I say div class, actually we'll just do div to start with. We'll say box one. And then we'll do another one because these are the children of the flex. Children of the flex, that's actually kind of a cool movie, I should say. Box number two. Now what's going to happen is box one and box two are centered because they're going to expand out from the middle using the justify content center. If I didn't have this, what would happen is it'll expand out from the right, but I'm justifying the content to the center thereby box one, if I hit the save button properly, will come in the middle of the page. Now this is a horizontal centering. If I want to vertically center it, I have to create space for that to work in. So what I did is I created a square box, which has a max width of 600 and a min height of 600 PX. The reason why I use the max width and the min height is because the max width conforms to the overall width of the browser. Since that might grow or shrink, if it goes smaller, it can adjust below 600. The min height is if I hit more content in, it's gonna expand beyond the height 
of the box in the browser, just as how I work things in CSS. So the square box, if we put it in, I'm gonna say div class, and we'll bring in all of these flex things, but we'll also add the square box. And just for readability and legibility, I'm gonna put the container, which inherently puts in the middle of the page as well. I'm gonna say container, and then I'll say square box, and then I'm gonna say deflex and justify content center. And if we bring in those two boxes, I'm gonna bring a third one in. So we'll drop it in here and we'll add one more box. Oh, too many copies and paste. There we go, box three. So this box, it is being centered horizontally, but I wanna move the content down to the middle of the page. There's another piece we have to add. Along with justify content center, which center things horizontally, I'm gonna use align items center. What that's gonna do is it's gonna pull it to the middle of the page based upon the height. And since I added a height to this design, I now have centered the type to the middle of the page horizontally and vertically. If you want more help using Bootstrap 5, I have a playlist of so many good videos all around Bootstrap 5. I've also got an online course called Bootstrap Bootcamp, which will kickstart your Bootstrap learning, and I'll put a link in the description below. As always, I'm Hayden Adams with A Designer Who Codes.